What's up, nerds? JR Shank here. This is OBS for Dummies. If you're looking to set up your Twitch stream, it's the place to be. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a second scene with goal and text, animated backgrounds. Enjoy. Now, you should have a basic setup with a border, some text, and the screen in the background for your gameplay. I'm going to show you now to make a scene. So you can switch between these and have different scenes with different layouts. So you can have like an intermission screen and stuff like that. So you want to go to scenes, right click, add. And here you would say, I'd call this small cam. So now you have a fresh canvas to start on. So on this screen, I'm going to put two borders and then have game capture in one or desktop capture and a cam in another border. I'm assuming now you've watched the, the previous two videos and you know what you're doing here. So I'm going to do this quickly. So now you can select existing ones, what you've done on previous scenes, they should have saved. This is where naming it comes in handy. So add existing border. Say we will have game capture like this. You can also select the border, right click it, copy, right click again, and then add a uh, paste duplicate. Now you have two of them. I'll make this one a bit smaller. Match it up like this. Now we'll add our screen capture. Right click it. Stretch the screen. Add your text. So the same way of adding borders, you could put, say, a background on there. You could do the same. You could add and then go to image. But now I'm going to show you how to add an animation. But we're going to use the animation as a background to make it look a bit more alive. So instead of going to image, you want to go down to media source. Call this background. Okay. And here you've got a few different options. You've got um, your file browser here, where you're going to select your background. Use that one. So here, if you want, say, if you change the scene and you want the animation to just play once and then stop while that scene's on and then you go back off back on it will restart again you leave this unticked loop but if you're saying you are on a hold screen like this you click loop and then it will just constantly keep playing same underneath restart playback when source becomes active this is where you change scene go back and it restarts the animation um, when you're using any kind of animation or say the the camera and stuff like that you want to always close file when not when inactive this way you're going to save resources when you're not on the other scene so when the other scenes in the background no resources are being used Click okay now we have the background there we need to move it back behind the other sources So I did that by selecting the background and then using these arrow keys to move it up and down. So the lower it is, the further back in the, the scene it will be. As you can see, it's just, it's constantly looping. Next, I'm gonna show you how to do scrolling text. So if you have a few things you wanna show, but you just want it all in one line, or if you want it to say scroll through how many follows you've had and what names they are, uh, but you don't want to obviously have it just solid on the screen like load of text you can um, use this trick you want to select your text you want to right click it go to filters here you've got effect filters you've got a lot of options here but we're going to stick to scrolling for now right click in this box add and down to scroll Here 
here you've got your horizontal speed and vertical speed what we're going to do is have it at the top of the scene scrolling through so we're going to move this slider like this as you can see it starts scrolling Click close and now you've got some scrolling text you can change how long this text box is by double clicking on it scroll right down to the bottom to use custom text see now it's doubled up so you want to uncheck wrap and here you got your width so we'll do 1080 Maybe a little bit longer than that 2000 you can make it thinner as well click OK as you can see now text will scroll off the side of the scene and then back on the other side also a little pro tip here once you select your source say the, this text here you can use the arrow keys to fine tune where it goes I use this a lot just to get it bang on so now you have your second scene set up you can move across to each the different scenes by just clicking on the scene box down here you go back to main and you're done now you should have the knowledge how to put animations in there, uh, create second scenes, switch between them, add in a bit of text and scrolling through. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to add sub alerts, follow alerts, sub goals, and also transitions so you can switch between the scenes. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on Twitch. Link down below. Remember, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you didn't like it, tell me why below. This has been OBS for Dummies. Remember guys, if I can do it, who can you? <laughs>